Hey guys, welcome to Well That Didn't Work May's update. It is finally May, and it's, man, it's gone by quick. It has, it has, it has. All right, so we're just going to jump right into this so we don't have another 20-minute update, but uh, just wanted to remind everybody that we are doing a Dice Tower giveaway, a Dice Tower that I built, and we will be giving it away in our June live session of Call of Cthulhu. And how you get in on that is by going to our Patreon page and subscribing there. For every dollar worth of subscription you put in, you get an entry. So at a $2 subscription, between now and June, you'll have four entries put in there. That's right. However, one other thing to know about this is that that entry, whatever you put through and subscribe with us on Patreon, 5% of that is going to help mental health before we ever do anything else with those funds. Um, the, mental, the mental health group that we chose to back is called NAMI. It's the National Alliance on Mental Illness, and they have an extremely high clarity rating. Everything that's put in is pretty much passed along directly to mental health awareness, and that's training, education, and finding people resources that they need. So with that, just know that whatever money you're contributing to us, you are actually helping other folks as well. Percy? Yeah, so... You want to tell them about games we're playing? Games we're playing. Uh, right now we have... Uh, releases of Legend of the Five Rings and Call of Cthulhu on alternating Mondays. Um, we've been trying to find a good schedule for those releases, and Mondays seem to work. Uh, now, keep in mind, if you don't follow us live um, with those games, you may get a little bit behind because we like we won't always have five Mondays in a month. Um, so it may get a little bit hinky there, but uh, definitely keep uh, listening to those. We do... Uh, really enjoyed making both of those games. They've both been really fantastic. Um, and we're also in the middle of our Urban Stars campaign, which was slotted to be released for a little while. Um, and <laughs> it's been cut surprisingly short. And I think, Mike, why don't you talk a little bit about that one? Well, you know, we we came to a really good natural conclusion with that particular uh um, campaign, So it was a little shorter than what we thought was going to be approximately 50 episodes, but I think it came to a really solid conclusion. It did, and I think the, the biggest reason we decided to cut it off at that point, so we're going to have 36 episodes of Urban Stars, and the reason we decided to do that instead of like push it and do some like real character resolving, which is what I was planning to do with that campaign, is because we've decided that it's only season one. Urban Stars is going to come back... Um, after a while, it's not going to be like in the fall, but uh, we'll have more details on that as they kind of brew up. Um, but those characters aren't done. Udell and Kiklik, and specifically right. Varho, who you guys haven't seen in a while, are probably going to be reappearing in Season 2. And I'm looking forward to Season 2 as well. I mean, now, understand that I'm getting ready to do an Age of Rebellion campaign, and you will start to see some of these characters come in and out as NPCs, mm -hmm. and vice versa. When <laughs> our long-term plans will be taking this to a, um, a Force and Destiny campaign as well. Yeah, so when Urban Stars comes back, it's not going to be built in Edge of the Empire anymore. It's going to be Force and Destiny, and following really uh, Grandmaster Thum, which we met, uh, or you will meet this month, I can't remember yet. Uh, you're meeting a Grandmaster, welcome, spoiler alert, um, of an ancient version of the Jedi Order. I it's think that very, episode very just fun. released. It might have. You you may be right. Yeah, 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 it did, it did. Uh, so, good, I'm in the clear. <laughs> Wipes off sweat. No spoiler um, alert, no edit, right? <laughs> exactly. Um, so, we're going to follow more of the story of Grandmaster Thum, as well as some of the things that Varho Dorkan has been doing since he left mm. Terrace. So, again, one of the things that we've got is we've got some upcoming games that we're going to be talking about here pretty quick. Again, I just kind of highlighted our Age of Rebellion and what we're planning for that. Um, however, Rick is going to run us through his own world, his own creation yeah. in Dungeons & Dragons. Um, so, again, another rare opportunity where you get to see Percy actually be at the table like you do with Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, and for Dungeons & Dragons, we are going to have a mini camp. Uh, and that's not a small camera. That is a camera that follows a miniature map that we're going to place on the table. Um, so that's going to be really unique for, for us as well. well. You know what? I almost forgot. By the time this airs, the first episode of How to Build Terrain will be out. 
You're right. You're and right. And it's the, it's the supplies episode. Everything you need to start the craft. So as you're watching us and when we start playing D&D, you'll be able to see some of the things that we've created and maybe go create some of those things yourself. Uh, the last thing we really have to talk about today is that May the 4th, so three days from today, uh, we are going to do a special Star Wars Day one-shot um, that is going to be hmm. really something special. Uh, it does take place after the events of Urban Stars, um, but there will be no spoilers, I promise. Um, it's just going to be a really fun thing. We're bringing in uh, Kevin, who you've seen in Legend of the Five Rings and Call of Cthulhu. Uh, he's going to play a really special character. And in this game, we're having our first Patreon donor join us not the first donor but it's the first time we're having a patreon donor join us for a game and it's because they donate at the 15 dollar a month mark which gets you put into a raffle to participate with us in a one shot like that absolutely and I, you know what again i'm looking forward to that game i think it's i think gonna there's be gonna be a lot of fun my favorite word there's gonna be some shenanigans that could pulled there and uh, i think we'll we'll have that game live but I do believe that the released episodes will probably fall after. Yeah, we're gonna a, after your uh, uh, Edge of the Empire Urban Stars is done. We're gonna hold on to um, <clears throat> to Urban Stars concert night, tentatively titled. Tentatively titled. <laughs> tentatively titled. Um, we're I gonna hold on to that, in that for a little while, <laughs> um, and basically use that. Like, if you don't follow it live, um, don't worry, you will eventually get it. But I'm going to kind of hold on to that one to fill in for, like, as holidays come around the corner toward the end of the year and we have to miss recording days, we can use that as filler um, for some of those weeks. Right. And just so that you're aware, if you look down at the uh, – if you're looking at your screen, the bottom right-hand side of the screen, you're going to see that there's a, a, a series of links that are down there. That will get you to our Facebook. That will get you to – our YouTube channel, that'll, which you're already on at this point, but that'll also take you over to things like our Twitch feed and also to um, our, our um, Patreon. So don't need to bog, bug you with all the links, or you can go into the description. It's all right there. And, uh, you know, click down there and, and run through. Yeah, and uh, thanks so much for uh, listening and watching and being part of this community. Um, as we continue to build up, it's just phenomenal to hear some feedback from people. Uh, we really do appreciate it, both the like constructive feedback and we especially love the positive feedback that we get. Um, it's been really cool, like browsing Facebook, and we'll see our podcast name come up when people are asking for shows to listen to. Uh, That's a good feeling. It's a good feeling, and, and we really love um, everybody who listens to our, our cast. Whether you're on Patreon or not, you make such an – incredible impact to us it makes us feel like we're doing something that people care about yep. and i appreciate it we all appreciate it leave us comments leave us likes give us some feedback and we'll, we we definitely will respond regardless of what platform you're doing it on but you know what percy we're kind of creeping up on some time here we are so most importantly more importantly than all that you keep on adventuring have a good one <laughs>